I've had a request for the pattern that I uh, created the Scuddy from and uh, unfortunately there is no written pattern but um, I can demonstrate hopefully without having to do it again on um, the thought processes on how I created the the, the Scuddy. So first of all you need a scarf um, so it was the basket weave design and so here is a basket weave scarf I've already made so the idea basically is you make um, the scarf section first and make it whatever length you like and whatever width you like. So this is the easy part and the original Scoody I made, that purple one I did for Joan, it's got pockets at the ends. So you'll need to make the scarf longer to account for the pockets which basically is just turning up the ends. So you do this on both ends. So um, it doesn't really matter how wide you make it um, and whether you do what I've done here with the design. I've got three lines um, going each way in each section, each box. has got three lines that way, three lines that way. You can do your basket weave differently with different number of rows and columns in each section. Now, basically, once you've decided how you're doing your basket weave, just make the scarf however wide you like it and however long you like it. Just to remember to make it longer um, depending how big you want to make the pockets, how deep or how long you want the pockets. So do that at each end. I just used a darning needle or a yarn needle with the same yarn to sew up the sides. So you'll have your scarf with a pocket, so, so that's the easy bit. <laughs> then uh, next section, the next part would be to work out the middle. Um, I won't unravel it all here, but you have to work out the middle point of your scarf. And I think it probably doesn't really matter if you decide the middle point is, um, you know, like in between two sections or whether the middle point is actually one of those squares. Whichever way, you know, work out which is the middle point of your scarf. Then you need to make the hood section, which is basically, I've done this little template thing here and this is not to scale. So <laughs> don't ask me the measurements of this. This is not to scale. This is just to demonstrate how I did the, the hood. So you've got the front here um, and, it, and uh, so it goes like that, bending the sides over the, the head like that with the back flap there. So same basket weave uh, designs that. So if you're doing three and three, then I'd make this exactly the same. So you're going to do your foundation chain. Um, your foundation chain is going to be um, the front of the hood. Then you'll do however many rows you like, however deep you want the hood. You're going to need to keep trying this on and when I did the Scuddy it was very <clears throat> very much trial and error and uh, experimenting. So I did unpick it a few times, uh, well two or three times probably. I didn't get the, the width of the, the hood right. Um, certainly first or second try didn't get it right and that bit um, certainly wasn't right either. The This length here which goes down the back of the hand, uh, back of the head, that's going to need to be the same length as the width on there. So when you've finished it you'll need to sew, fold that over and you'll need to sew up here and same on that side. So I'm not sure if this is to scale properly but those bits there should measure the same. Then when that's completed, um, this is all sewn together, you'll need to sew around so that shape there. Yeah, sew them up first, then that shape will have to be sewn onto the scarf. There we go. Um, so that's basically it really. Um, you're going to need to experiment, but I understand that the person who asked me about this um, is planning to make quite a lot of um, of these scoodies. So once you've got one right, as long as you know you can either make notes yourself and then just reproduce it, it's going to be your first one you make that's going to be tricky trying to work out exactly the sizes. So I'm sorry I can't be much help on um, measurements. I don't have the scoodie with me anymore because I uh, passed it on. I've now given it to the person I made it for and she lives in a different country. So <laughs> that strange place across the pond they call America, I think. Anyway, um, 
so if, I, if that helps um that's that's great if you have, have any more questions or comments um that'd be great leave them in the um comment section underneath this video and if i think of anything else that might be useful um basically it doesn't matter what hook size and yarn you use scarves and hoodies are fairly um fairly nice like that in that it's not really any any big deal what size hook you use obviously the bigger the hook you use the better i probably used a size five millimeter hook which i believe is an h i think size hook um but obviously the hook size is it's not as crucial as making a hat the hood section on a on a hoodie um it's not as important as a hat would be so i'll also put a link below to a video i made a few months ago showing the this goodie and um all right so i hope that's useful and uh, i'll see you all again soon bye